Well, Sunday, the nation celebrates June 19th, 1865, the date federal troops freed the remaining enslaved people in the U.S. But there is a rarely told story of what former slaves did right here in Hampton Roads and in North Carolina. A new book written by VCU alum David Wright Holiday tells us the story. The history of the Black Pea Island surfmen is carefully chronicled in the year 2000 book Fire on the Beach. Beginning in the 1880s, former slaves rescued hundreds from the graveyard of the Atlantic. For Juneteenth 2022, co-author David Wright Folliday was recognized at the Coast Guard base in Portsmouth. He's now a professor of English at the University of Illinois. When I interviewed you 22 years ago, the central figure in your book, Fire on the Beach, was Richard Etheridge. Today, you have a new book, Black Cloud Rising. Richard Etheridge is the central figure. How did you make that literary leap? All of the characters in the book, except for Revere, are actual figures. Black Cloud Rising is a novel. I saw Gaylord drop to a knee, raise his rifle. That reveals the untold story of a younger Richard Etheridge and others in the African Brigade. Over three weeks in 1863, they freed slaves. So they marched from Portsmouth to Elizabeth City, and along the way, every slave that they, they encounter, they're going to free. And this is Juneteenth in that way. That's what it felt like to them. This is freedom. This is a great Jubilee Day. You know, we are suddenly free. Because you'll never, ever take back, take back our country our with weakness. Given today's historic but troubling events facing the nation, the professor has this lesson for those who will write the next chapters in the nation's history. But I want them to confront the fact of our history. But I don't want us to whitewash the history on the one hand. I want us to complicate it. Stay tuned. Wright Folliday just secured an option for a potential movie based on Black Cloud Rising. Wright is holding a book signing tonight at the book club in downtown Portsmouth. For more information, see this story on wavy.com.